Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The 76ers run in the 2001 finals will be chronicled in the new NBA TV documentary, Everything But the Chip. The NBA playoffs have been cruel and harrowing for 76ers fans in recent years, including three spectacular losses in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference semifinals. It hurts to even type that. This time of year it can be difficult to combat cynicism towards the team. Only the Sixers' proud legacy of past triumphs can sustain a desire to hold on to, if not trust, the process in dark times. The last time the Sixers made any serious splash in the postseason was the team's seemingly invincible entry into the NBA Finals in 2001. Fueled by MVP Allen Iverson and a confident squad of Rolla players who rallied around him, the Sixers endured two seven-game playoff series to emerge from the emerging East, but were then sorely outmatched by the Lakers at the peak of their powers, with Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant surrounded by ridiculous shots from Robert Horry. Rick Fox and Derek Fisher. The 90-minute special, part of the series The Network's Basketball Stories, will feature interviews with Iverson, head coach Larry Brown, Shaq, Pat Kroos, Billy King and others. It will air Wednesday, May 31st at 8 p.m. on NBA TV, and will also be available on demand via the NBA app. We all know the basic story of how the 2001 season came to a head. Philly stole the first game of the finals away, punctuated by Iverson's iconic pass on Tyron Liu, then fought back into a gentleman's sweep, as the Lakers overpowered them despite some hard-fought duels. In Philadelphia sports history, this season is arguably the closest thing to a championship without being a championship itself. There are some moments and awards from the 2001 season that are not remembered as well as others. The team went all in with the big trade, Trading Theo Ratliff for Dickham Mutombo. Brown was named Coach of the Year and Aaron McKay, who also stars in the documentary, was named Sixth Man of the Year. And of course there was the riveting playoff march by the Pacers, the Raptors and the Bucks. The documentary appears too.